Greetings! Welcome back, it's uh, Lord Virgilus, and we're going to be going through our journey, continuous, continuous journey, through Dragon Warrior 3. So, I left you in a cliffhanger last time, uh, just exiting the cave of enchant not enchantment, but enchantment. Actually, that's not, that's not it. Uh, the, the cave, with the teleporter, basically. I'm not going to worry about names anymore, because I know that I'm no good in this. Other than that, just listen to this awesome music because I just love the eerie feel of this. Yeah, it just gives it a real chilly tone. Um, so we came from this teleporter, and we're going up the stairs. And we're going to find out where the hell we are, basically, so... And, uh, well, conveniently, there's a castle right here. So we're gonna go in. We're gonna find out where the hell we are, first of all. We are in the castle town of Romali. Again, I have no idea if that's how you say it, but still, Romali. And, well, uh, apparently we, uh, have been kind of known around. And unlike... What I said before, I'm going to talk to pretty much everyone and see what they have to say. Okay. Fair enough. And see what people have to say, because... Let's say it, I just, I've done this at least two times already, and I forgot to record my, uh, my video for both. So I know that, for a fact, there people are going to... Some people are actually going to tell me basically where to go, and basically the king's going to tell me where to go also, too. Our next mission. And yes, that's why we're sent on the job, and reminds me I have to heal, too. So yes, we're going to heal. Because healing is good. Dying is bad. And we're going to talk to this green-haired child. Apparently... Oh, well, we've been expected. We can go far north from Castle Tomlois, the village of Knave. Again, I have no idea if I'm saying that right. Knave. It's like a knife, not like Knave. Well, it could be like Neve, like the K could be silent. And we have a guy in jail in a tower. Interesting. So, Kanar, the blah, 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 it's the village of Japan, gather compass, and... Okay, Kanar, interesting. I wonder if he'll come up later on. Hint, hint, more shadow. Nudge, nudge, yes. And, well, there's a door. Let's see if we can turn it. Nope, we can't... Open the door. So we, we need to go apparently north first. Sounds like a plan. And we're gonna go up in the other tower and see where this old man is looking the other way. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so we're going to be, I guess we have to talk to the king, so we'll go talk to the king. But down here we have an interesting gentleman knight thing. There are terrible monsters in the east. But first it's best to set out for north to try your skills. So we have to go north and then east. Fair enough. So let's uh, let's go talk to the king and see what he has to say. We have to first talk to this. And all the Tower of Champagne rooms west of the village of. I'm gonna say, I'm calling I'm gonna I'm gonna call it Kneeve, even though it's probably not Kneeve. Oh, he's holding a flute. Oh, okay, that makes sense now. For some reason, I always thought he was holding like a pistol, like a rifle. He's like holding back and forth, holding a pistol, and no, it's a flute. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I. I 
just realized that, actually. It's... That... Wow. Oh my goodness, that is, uh... Kind of embarrassing, actually. Holy cow, I thought he was holding a pistol at a time, and... Oh, it's just a flute. Do I want to save? Yes. Do I want to continue my journey? Absolutely. And he wants to ask me a favor. Oh. Kamar has apparently stole my golden crap. <laughs> golden crown from the castle. And I have to fetch it back. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, well, we know it is that the Kanar is in the Tower of Champagne. And the Tower of Champagne looms the west of Kniv, if that's how we say it. And that's, I guess, where we're going. But first, I'm going to bring us over here and down here, because we're going to go to the Monster Arena. So, we can talk to this gentleman over here first. And for five gold, he will tell us the next in the next um, battle and his prediction. Don't even waste five gold, because I can tell you an easy way to actually probably get a, not a guarantee winner, but a probably good, maybe even 90% chance you'll win. So we're going to bet on it with our 90 gold. So these are the battle contendants of the next next battle. So we have 2.8, 4 point, this is basically 90 times 2.8 times 4.0 and times 3.3. So you'll get that amount of gold if you win. So a, a good one is probably going to be the lowest one. If you choose the goal, if you choose the lowest number, it most likely will come out the winner. That's not always guaranteed because sometimes out of this one, I think even the, the scorpion wasp would actually be almost a almost I, I would I'd probably go, actually, I'm going for the Scorpion Lost, because uh, I'm pretty sure that the Scorpion Lost might win over the, fr the Frog Ogre. So we'll see. We'll see which one it is. So we'll see. And this, this is all automatic, so this is not like any kind of Pokemon match where it's like you have to... See? That's what I thought. So, the thing is, know your enemies. You gotta know your enemies. If you fought your enemies before, if you know that they're actually going to be stronger, because I knew the, the Scorpion Wasp would actually be stronger than the Frog Ogre. Yet the Frog Ogre is the lowest one, so that's a thing. So, know your enemies, and bet on... bet... bet, bet smartly. That's definitely... so, like, let's go over another one. Just... Just, you know, because I actually want to get the money. So out of here, we got giant anteaters and a demon anteater. This can go two ways. All the giant anteaters can be, pretty much go and destroy the demon anteater easily. Or they can go with each other and then demon anteater can finish them off. So let's see. Obviously, the demon anteater is the lowest one. Let's see if, let's see if it actually wins. Like I said, they could actually go either way. Right now, they're attacking each other, which is great, because that would be great. And, oh, you see the demon, demon anteater is even more faster than the actual regular anteater also. So, there you go, see? That's, that's pretty much the way it is. And yes... I'm climbing slowly. I'm going for one more because I actually, I, I'm, I'm actually liking this. So, 90. So out of this, oh yeah, if we go with 1.0, you'll basically get your 90 gold back. So, let's not even worry about that one. And if you're not interested in actually the battles, just go out. Go out. Go out of the stairs, come back in. And the set of the matches are reset. Just want to point that out. So it's different. Out of this one, either Richards can go either way. This is actually not a fair one, so I wouldn't even bet on this one. So I can go through 
which one there are made in like a bonus episode or something. But right now, it's it's right here. So I've actually took a look at my items, and I do need to sort through my items. So I'm going to do that. Come back before I start buying things, and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, welcome back. And I just sorted through out my throw my items. I mainly wanted to, like I actually talked about in my last episode, I want to put my thief key up to the top slot so I can easily just click it and it's, instead of going through at the bottom, it's just right there at the top. Easy, I can easily boom boom and it's done. So, it's just something I did pretty much almost when I started started playing the game, so it's just one of those things. So you don't have to do it, but it's a lot easier to access. And, you know, anything easier in this game is great. So I'm going to go over here, because this is where the armor place is, and I'm going to get a broadsword. And I'm going to give it to Vanilla. And I'm going to actually equip it, because we're going to be doing some... This is a, a clear thing of what you need to do to pretty much... Seeing that I don't have a lot of gold still. And I got a thorn whip. Okay, I got a silver thorn whip. So I gotta go over to the item shop, which I totally hate. And we got a giant bird singing in the background. Awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna go here. And we're gonna go back over to the armor place. And we're gonna get a bronze shield. And we're going to give it to Roxum. And we get another bronze shield. And I'm going to give it to Vanilla. And I'm going to get another bronze shield. And give it to Scott. Okay, so here we're going to go equip our items. Bronze shield. Go to Roxum. Put bronze shield on her. And Scott, we're going to put the bronze shield on him. Okay, fantastic. So we're going to actually sell those loader shields that we have. Because, you know, we don't need them, and I'd rather get the money, because if I have enough, I might buy something else. There we go, loader shield. And Scott. Yep. And we got about 427, a little bit more than I had in the previous runs. So let's see what I can get. A little bit more, I can get chainmail. You know, I think I might go bet on some monsters. Let's see if I can get that just a little bit higher. This will determine on... Let's go for that Scorpion Wasp. So let's see. Let's see if the Scorpion Wasp or Fogger wins again. Round two. Let's take a look. No. Oh, he might not win this time because he's uh, he got pounded twice. Oh, there you go. The Fogger won this time. So, see, doesn't always win. But let's see if I this. Slightly becomes addicting, I have to say. Only slightly. And again, um. Actually, let's go crazy. Only because the Mass Moth does surround. Let's see if it actually does. Let's see if it wins. Because I know the Mass Moth does surround, so let's see if, uh. That does. Of course, he doesn't do Mass Surround me. Of course. If he did do surround, then that would be like an excellent thing. Holy cow! Yeah, it's battle. Obviously, that's the lowest one. So as you can see, the lowest number most likely wins. So I'm going to, seeing it's about that time for calling it an episode. Not really too much happened, but we have a we have a goal of where we're going to go and what we need to do. So that's... I wouldn't call that nothing. So, a couple of uh, new enemies. We got Poison Toads. 
So we got to watch out for poison status. And luckily I didn't get poison that time. In both my runs, I've got poisoned. And I need to, and I want to actually show what you do when you get poisoned, you don't have any anto herbs. So, I guess I won't show it this time. So, I'm going to actually make it quick, seeing that I have to go north. Everyone's saying, let's go north. So, let's go north. To that uh, village of Kneeve. Even though that's not probably not how you say it. I really, like I said, I'm not great with names, especially if I can't hear it. If I hear the name a few times, then I can actually go with it. But if you basically say, if you write a name and say, try to say this name, or try to say this word, I'm like, I have no clue what the hell you're talking about, buddy. It's just one of those things, I can't, unless I hear it, I, I see a word, I'm like, and it looks completely, holy cow, like sometimes I can get it, but other than that, most of the time I'm like, I have no idea how to say that. Which is, which is sometimes terrible, because I, I'm, I really like to actually learn some of those names, especially in uh, myth lore. And some myths and some lore. And Japanese names also. Because, you know. Video games uh, and anime, basically. And I'm gonna cut this. Danger! 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 I'm in the green, so um, that definitely means that I gotta heal. And let's actually get Scott here, because he's supposed to be a healer, so let's get everyone kind of healed. Uh, I have vanilla heal again. Alright, here we go. So we're gonna go maybe in the town of Kneeve. Oh, we got killer bees. The killer bees are very similar to the scorpion wasps. I think they can call for reinforcements, but I'm not totally sure. But their main thing is that they, ca they cause numbness. And numbness is like your par paralyzed or paralysis -lis in this game. So you basically can't move. And paralysis can only be, be cured by. Was it full moon herbs? Yes, yeah, full moon herbs in this. And I'm going to heal and we're going to be calling it an episode. This is the village of Kneeve and I'm going to be actually grinding a few times before I um, go on so and here we are so until next time this is Lord Virgilus and I'm gonna be mainly saying farewell